We are here at AnimalCon USA 2024 in Orlando, Florida. Some of the biggest and best animal content creators in the world are here at this event. So let's head inside and see who or what we can find. AnimalCon was created by Brian Barczyk, who sadly passed away earlier this year. The grand idea behind AnimalCon was to bring together the entire online animal community in one place to share their love and passion for wildlife. I've wanted to attend this event ever since its creation in 2022, but I was never able to make it in previous years due to conflicts with money or school. But this year, my school schedule happened to line up perfectly and I managed to have just enough saved up to buy my ticket last minute, hop on a plane, and fly out to the Carib Royale Resort and Convention Center in Orlando, Florida for AnimalCon USA 2024. Walking into the main hall of the convention center, everywhere I looked, there was either a cool animal or a content creator that I looked up to, or both. Day One's panels were all about being a creator in the wildlife space and what aspiring creators can do to hopefully realize their dreams of working with animals for a living. Topics of the first day's panels included staying motivated, mastering SEOs, and decoding algorithms in order to build a wildlife content creation brand. Each day after the main events of the convention, AnimalCon hosts after parties for the creators and for those who purchased special event passes. My ticket was the basic three-day pass that did not include entry to the after parties. So after the day's main events had ended, I was left with some spare time. Since we're in Orlando, I figured I'd use that time to visit the most magical place on Earth. The Rainforest Cafe. Day two was much busier than day one, and the convention hall was bursting at the seams with amazement. The vendors booths were all set up, and all manner of exotic animals were roaming the halls. Forrest Galante was hosting the Wild Times podcast, Mikey from Ants Canada was meeting with his fans, and Chandler was doing, well, Chandler things. Whereas the first day was all about wildlife content creation, this day was all about the animals themselves. Topics of this day's panels included addressing climate challenges, stories from the wild, and breaking down harmful animal stereotypes. At 2 p.m., I made my way to the meet and greet room, where I received some YouTuber advice from one of my favorite creators about the direction of my channel going forward. I'm here with Dave Kaufman. How's it going, everybody? So, we were talking, and uh, he's going to do a lot of animal content on this channel, but what I noticed on his channel was the Bigfoot stuff. So, comment below right now. Do you want to see more animal content, or do you want to see more Bigfoot comments, or do you want to see both? Comment below, let us know. All right, you heard the man. Comment below. Day two was an absolute blast. 
and after a few more panels, the main events were over, and it was time for the after parties. Walking around Orlando after the day's main events, I was on the hunt for a new place to eat, though it was definitely going to be pretty tough to find a place better than the Rainforest Cafe. Oh my glob! The T-Rex Cafe. On the morning of the final day, I made my way to the meet and greet room, where I, along with a handful of others, got to meet Forrest Galante. Since our group was so small, we were basically just hanging out and talking for a bit, which was super cool. This day saw many more excellent speaker panels, in addition to animal shows by Farmyard Antics and the Cool Zoo. I even got to meet Otis the Eastern Box Turtle up close after a presentation by Chris and Casey of Garden State Tortoise. Inevitably, all good things must come to an end, and after some final words by Lori Barczyk, Animal Con 2024 was finally in the books. The time had come for me to bid farewell to this amazing event and begin the journey back home. Roll the dice, roll the dice, you don't live twice, roll the dice. I am so grateful that I was able to make it out to Orlando for this year's Animal Con. I got to meet so many new people, and I was pleasantly surprised by just how laid back the event was. Sure, there was a schedule of events, but nothing was required or expected of the guests, aside from having a good time. Depending on what you wanted to do, you could sit in on the many creator panels, you could get up close with some really amazing exotic animals, or you could just hang around with friends. My favorite aspect of this event was just how open and approachable everyone was. Everyone was encouraged to walk around and get to know the people in attendance, and not even the big animal celebrities were unwilling to have full conversations with anyone who wanted to speak with them. Everyone was so kind and eager to get to know others in this community, and it didn't take long for a newcomer like me to feel right at home. Meeting people and making friends within this community is the entire reason that Brian created Animal Con in the first place. Lori and the rest of the event organizers did a marvelous job of carrying on Brian's vision for Animal Con and Brian's presence was certainly felt throughout the entire weekend. Not only in how he shaped this event in his life, but in how he shaped the lives of everyone in attendance. And in that way, Brian lives on in all of us. His legacy. Thank you very much for watching. And needless to say, I already can't wait to make it back to Animal Con next year.